Hi guys. All right, I'm going into Dollar Tree. It's gonna be probably a minimal shop with me if I honestly even get clips, but I am gonna do a car haul, so let's go. But I guess a fit check. It's cold today. I don't know why I didn't buy these shoes this year. I love them. I got them from Amazon, just to buy. And I will link them for you in case you're interested. But they're like the Boston Clog dupes. The Boston Clogs, I think, I don't even know how much they are, but they're, they could be around $100. That's probably like 40 Maybe even 30 I don't know. The price is changing on Amazon. some Dollar Trees have a Hello Kitty like coloring activity book. I've been trying to find it, but looks like this one doesn't have it. All right, so I'm done shopping and I spent like $103, but that's with tax. So let me show you guys what that looks like. All right. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do the car haul like I wanted to. I guess not that it matters, but sometimes I think different environments and just doing a car haul seems fun to me. So I'm kind of disappointed. I literally filmed the entire thing. I'll insert a clip here, but the audio got messed up. I ended up moving my car because the sun was coming in. And then I noticed when I moved my car, I don't know if like, I turned on the AC or like what, something was bothering my phone. So there was some type of disruption there and I just thought I can't release this with that audio. My receipt, $96.50. Oh. <gasps> so anyways, and now I'm gonna repeat the haul. I mean, not to you guys, but you know. So I spent about a hundred and three dollars i think it ended up being like 96 dollars and 50 cents but when i looked at my receipt i realized that i got scammed by dollar tree i got scammed i got i bought candy that i thought was a dollar 25 it was with the other one a dollar 25 items um and usually they keep the bonus items separate which i think they should i don't think it should be mixed with the dollar 25 things i think that that is sneaky in a way and um i don't know anyways so i had no idea that i bought these bags of candy that were three dollars and fifty cents the only thing that i will insert a clip of with the horrible audio is simply just because it's in the car so like let me just use this clip but i bought a sure fresh container and then i bought a bunch of snacks and i put those snacks in the container. I also picked up this candy. I picked it up before, it's so good. They're the garlic Parmesan pretzel sticks. Also another um, item that I'm gonna keep in this film. Let's see if I can peel off this sticker. Why are all stickers like that? All right, here is one of the last bags. Um, I also got the peppercorn ranch pretzel sticks so I'm gonna go ahead and just maybe I'm gonna sit them upright so I'll just put it here I'm gonna know you can see it I got the honey roasted peanuts love those I got these hidden valley ranch toasted corns also a snack in there I got regular regular salted peanuts going in here I actually got two packs of the honey roasted because I love the honey roasted um, and then I also got the combos. This is the buffalo blue cheese stuffed. That's also going in here. And I got the corn nuts barbecue. I cannot wait to try that. I'm not a fan of like taste testing on camera. I've done it before. And the, the, what's funny is I love watching mukbangs and watching people eat. But when I go back and edit myself, I'm like, no, no, I don't, I don't want to eat on camera. <laughs> so. So aside from that and using those clips, here's what I got. 
I picked up some cereal. This has been like my new thing now. I really like the size of the cereal. Micah doesn't eat it. I don't need a whole bag or box of it. So buying these little packs of cereals from, from Dollar Tree actually works very well for me. I am on the hunt for Frosted Flakes though, but I've never seen Fruity Pebbles. So I feel like that's new. Um, then I picked up these safety pens. I found these in the checkout aisle. I thought these would be great to add to my car. You never know when you need to like have a safety pen on you. So I got those for that. Here's my receipt, $96.50, but we can't divide that by $1.25 and get the total number of items because again, the, the scam, the $3.50 scam on the candy. Um, and I'll show you the candy here in a second. These have come back in stock. So I just wanna let you guys know that this could be a restock alert at your stores. These are the Q-tips, that, but they're infused. They're super pretty. And we've got lavender, so green tea, lavender, coconut, and rose oil. So pretty. These would be great in an Easter basket for the older crowd. So I thought those are a great restock just in time. And then I found a tease brush. Comes in multiple colors. I also think this is brand new to Dollar Tree. I did decide to get mine in white. I wish they kind of had this at the time that Micah was in cheer because, like, you got to get you gotta get their, that hair up to the sky, to the heavens, to the Lord. So, um, you know, but, or if you just like wanna get voluminous ponytail, it's not just for cheer, but like, that's where my mind goes for things like that. Um, but I did get mine to make my hair a little bit more voluminous, especially since I have like ultra fine hair. The, the brush will be great to give myself like a thicker ponytail. Then I picked up these Easter eggs. I actually want it just for the white bunny. I want to try to do like an all white themed basket for Micah's Easter, but I don't think that might, that will happen. I think I'm going to have to bring in some type of color. I just wanted to be like super neutral and I wanted to try something new and different this year for her. Um, so I'm going to try to pull all white and see how that ends up. If you watch my five below haul, then you saw the Easter basket that I chose for her. I've also bought her some white socks with like frilly lace on it or whatever. So we'll see if I can do it. If not, or if I do, I'll end up donating these three, just FYI. All right, next up, I actually need to pick your brain for a second. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, but I picked up these canned sardines, but I didn't pick them up for me. I actually picked them up for Loki. I do want to get Loki towards a more raw diet. I've done a lot of research on this. I've seen a lot of people putting together these raw diet meals for their dogs and especially Loki's breed. I'm not going full force into the raw just yet, like no raw meats or chicken feet and all those things that I've seen, but sardines I think are an okay transition. I know they have some really great benefits for dogs, um, but I wanted to ask you guys, should I not do the one in oil and just do the sardines in water? Or should I get a more fresh version of sardines and not in the can? If you know, if you do any of that with your dog and you feed them a more raw diet, let me know what your thoughts are here. I'm thinking the oil doesn't make sense. I'm thinking, the water-based one would be better. Um, I'll also ask his vet, but I wanted to know what you guys are doing. Um, so just wanted to pick your brain on that. Um, next up, I'm so excited that I found these again. These are my favorite cream sodas, and it has to be this brand. It has to be IBC. The fact that this is, this is at Dollar Tree is honestly uh, it, it's it's surprising and Dollar Tree has some really great glass bottle drinks. They have the classic root beers. They have the cherry soda. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is very underrated right now. I don't know why. I, mean, I don't know. Are they going for $1.25 in other places? But this IBC cream soda is delicious. So I got some of those. All right, next up. If you watch all my hauls, then you know I've been on the hunt for these. I said that I needed to get three more. So I finally found three more and secured them. 
I want to do a whole organization system in my bathroom. And so I've been buying all the little things to put in here from Dollar Tree. And I'm just trying to get everything together so I can do that video with you guys. So I'm almost there. I definitely needed these and I need to get like hair ties and some bobby pins and some scrunchies from Dollar Tree and then I'll be ready to set up the, the, the whole drawers that we're gonna, it's all gonna be Dollar Tree. So, um, I mean, look how beautiful and clear these are. So I was excited I finally found those. Then I picked up these board games. Uh, you already know why, junk journaling, I don't know. It's my thing, it's my new hobby, it's my passion. It makes me so incredibly happy. So, love that I can find stuff like that at Dollar Tree. Next up, I got some stickers and some brand new ones too, by the way. Look how cute that is with all the jars. And then these are brand new. They also have more to this collection, but I didn't really care for them. But these were my favorite. And then these were, you know, if I get doubles, you know what that means. So the travel one is just the best one. Next up, I found this facial mask. However, I know that Dollar Tree has been dropping some brand new face masks. I've seen it. I am desperately trying to find them and get my own hands on them. I'm, I'm like foaming at the mouth. The interesting thing is, is that I do go and visit different Dollar Trees. And while this Dollar Tree from this haul is spectacular in the sense that it's new, it's clean, it's stocked, but it's not putting out the viral things. And there are just some stores where you just don't see the viral things. I don't know why it's like that. It's just not the store that gets those things. So I'm just gonna have to go to another one and see if I can find it. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. If you frequent Dollar Tree like I do, but you also are in an area in your town where you have multiple Dollar Trees, you might know what I'm talking about. There's always that one store that you know you can rely on that's gonna have the things. And it's kind of like this store. While this store is fabulous, it's never truly carried the viral things that I see other people find, if that makes sense. All right, moving on. I picked up these Chips Ahoy. Fun fact about these, when I lost Loxy and like I spiraled and my diet changed and all of that, these held me down. They never made me sick. I remember I would eat dinner at four o'clock and then I'd have some of these cookies between like four and five and that was it. And I wouldn't eat the rest of the night. Um, and I don't know, it was a thing for me. It's a weird thing to say, but there it is. This next item I've hauled this one. It's a beauty blender. Um, even the bottom is a beauty blender as well. It's supposed to be an ice cream cone, but I didn't know about this guy. Look how cute that is. I don't think this one is a blender though. I think just this one is. I think this is plastic, but both of these pieces are a sponge. So cute. Great for an Easter basket for the older crowd, preteen, teen, young adult. Those would be great. Then Dollar Tree put out a new set of oral care. They also have this in a blue version. I got this in the hot pink. You get the toothbrush, tongue scraper, the dental mirror, the dental pick, and a scaler. I guess because this one's double ended, but I really got it for the tongue scraper. So we'll see how well that works. Then I picked up these adorable gardening gloves. Like, no need, no explanation necessary. And if you know me, you know that all of my gardening gloves have always come from Dollar Tree. I've always used them. There was a time though where I did get some sturdier, thicker ones from like Lowe's because at the end of the day, these are pretty thin. So if you're dealing with rose bushes, I wouldn't recommend these. Like it's just gonna come through and poke and it's gonna hurt. But overall, from me doing mulching and planting flowers and digging in dirt, this works really well. I just wouldn't recommend it with like thorny bushes. So there's that. Um, then we've got these beautiful palettes from this brand, Beauty Intuition, and they are stunning. Okay, so we've got a Pretty Pastels and the Peachy Nudes, and these are gonna be amazing in a Easter basket again for that older crowd and also if you're sending a care package this would be really great for that next up 
this was actually the part of the video where I realized my audio change was this guy, but that's neither here nor there. This is a color mist. It is a food color mist. You can see that they're showing a cupcake here. Please comment down below and let me know what other color mist colors are you finding? Because I only found red. Should I assume there's more colors? That would be wild. Like I've never seen this product at Dollar Tree before. So this is definitely a new item alert. But if you've seen other colors, let us all know what you're finding. Then I picked up this Dial Soap, Coconut Water and Mango. Love that combo. Um, then I found these plant holders. They are fabulous. We've got three colors to choose from and they're, they're all great. Kind of wish there was a black option. Maybe there is, but this is all that I found. So we've got the brown, the cream, and then the bright white. Gorgeous. But here's what I'll say about this. This doesn't just have to be a plant holder. You could maybe create a garland out of this very farmhouse material right here, if like that's your style. You could create a garland, you could drape this like and style it in a tear tray because it kind of has that knot look. You can do so much with this. You, you know, you could definitely think outside the box with that. Next up, I actually got these for myself and I keep them in my office, but I love squishy stress toys. Has to be squishy, has to be kind of slimy. That's just my vice. And these are brand new. I've never seen them at Dollar Tree before. And the fact that they rang up $1.25, that's wild. Um, so I found the grape. So we've got a little grape. This, I don't know what this is. Is this corn? Is this a pickle? Is this a banana? Does it say? I don't even know. Let me know what y'all think this is. Let me, let me open it. See if we can. Is it supposed to be a banana? Yeah. Oh, that's that is squishy. But yeah, I think that's a banana. And then we've got the strawberry, which is my. She's just so cute. Yeah. These would be great for an Easter basket too. So there's that option. Cleaning gloves. Just a restock. And then finally, these socks came back in stock. Now these are men's. I'm a size eight in women's, but what I've found is that the men's socks fit pretty decently. They're not too, too big. Uh, maybe if you're a women's size six, these could swallow you up. Um, but if you're in that seven to eight to nine range, these, these could fit you pretty well, I would assume. I love these socks. I've been waiting for them to come back in stock. They're a no-show and I just, I'm obsessed with them. They're $1.25 and they can just do no wrong in my eyes. Next up, I picked up these Glad bags. I don't know, or these uh, Ziploc bags. You get 25. I wouldn't recommend this for a big family. I wouldn't recommend this, you know, if you're packing lunches because you're gonna get more quantity for a better value at like a Walmart. However, for me, I don't have kids that's going to school. I don't have a constant need to use these, but I think I need them on hand just in case. And I think this is perfectly fine for me. I was there out of convenience, 25 is just fine. So that's why I did get it. But I just wouldn't recommend items like that to like a bigger family, if that makes sense. Next up, run, don't walk for these. Whatever the hell these are. I still don't even know. I don't know what, they're, they're a straw with a lollipop at the end. I don't get it. I don't get, oh, I guess there is a little opening at the bottom, but here's what I'll tell you. My Dollar Tree did not put this out with the Easter candy. Cause if I'm telling you, if these were in the aisle with the Easter candy, they'd be gone. I found these in a checkout aisle that there was no cashier at. You know, like the, not all aisles are open, so you have to check them. That's where I found these. And these are all the colors. And then here are what the candies look like. Huh? Next up, you all know how I feel about pens and especially about Jot. It's my favorite brand. I also love pens from Dollar Tree. I love that in this pack, 
you get two blue inks and two black inks. That's really cool. So I'm gonna give these a try. And then next up, I found these air fresheners. I've never seen these before. We get a lavender and a citrus. So I feel like these are new cleaning items at Dollar Tree. And then I found Oreo Cakesters. Okay, I didn't even know that Oreo did this. I didn't know that they are putting their cookie in the format of a little cake. And with the last bag, I got this little lollipop bouquet. They are individually wrapped. So if you, let's say, had five Easter baskets you were working with, you could pull this apart and put one in each basket. Just FYI. So that's cool. Then I got this beauty right here, lemon heads. I will take it out and I'll store the candy in a jar, but I really wanted it honestly for the packaging. It's so classic and, you know, and beautiful and bright. I love the yellow. If you watched my last Dollar Tree haul, link it down below. I showed you guys that monkey book with the fabric swatches that I got from Dollar Tree and the pink tool. Just imagine this cut out in that junk journal. It's just gonna be so bright and so pretty. So that's why, that's why I got it. And here is the scam of the century. I feel like I was so wrong and so duped because I don't remember seeing Dollar Tree flag these as a bonus item. They had these with the Easter candy and I'm not okay with that because you know, we gotta know what's $1.25 and what's not. So these rang up $3.50. I guess now it makes sense that these would be that price versus $1.25. But we've got Jolly Rancher jelly beans. This one surprised me, Swedish fish jelly beans. That's really cool. Starburst jelly beans. These are gonna be probably my favorite. And then I didn't even know that Nerds Clusters candy are doing a jelly bean version of it. So these were the four items that rang up $3.50. All right, I just hauled that twice. But anyways, um, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I, I think there's gonna be a video following this for Saturday. If I'm releasing that video tomorrow, I just hope you're prepared. I know that's teasing. I don't know how else to say it. When you see that video, you'll understand this reaction. That's all I'll say.